In today's video, we're taking a look at how to replace, change, or install a toilet. It's so simple, anyone could do. Anything used on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description. And these are the things that you might need. Pliers, ratchet wrench, screwdriver, some gloves, rags, and maybe a bucket. The first thing that you want to do is shut off the valve. It should be right behind your toilet at the bottom on the wall. Next, we want to remove all the water from the toilet. And we do that first by flushing the toilet. We go ahead and remove the top from the tank so we can have access to the water that was left after flushing. This is where your rags and gloves are going to come in handy. We're going to go ahead and soak all that out. If you feel more like a boss, you can also remove the water from inside the toilet with rags. In our case, we're going to place the toilet in a container so we won't have any spills. So we won't do that. But if you do want to, go ahead. I salute you. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and remove the line that goes from the shutoff valve to the toilet's tank. You may have to place a rag under the line. Once you place the new toilet in, you want to verify that your current line would reach the new toilet. If you get a bigger toilet, you might need a longer line. You can take that one to the hardware store and just ask for a longer one. Now let's go ahead and remove the old toilet. And we're going to do that by removing the nuts from the screws at the bottom. There's one on the left side and there's another one on the right side. We're going to go ahead and use the wrench to loosen the nut and then after that you can do it by hand. A pro tip, after using your tools and switching out the toilet, it'd be a good idea to disinfect them. Now that we've done that, we would do the other side. Now that we've done both, now the toilet should pop up easily. If you need help, this would be the time to get Watson. If you can do it all by yourself, this is the time to find it a new home. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the XX wax from the drain and also the wax ring. If you haven't painted behind the toilet, this is a great time to do so. Let's go ahead and open the new toilet. We have the tank, which is pre-assembled. That means everything on the inside, it's already installed. We don't have to do anything. Here inside the bowl, we have the wax ring and all the other pieces. And this is everything that comes in that bag. We have the wax, the rubber gasket, the new screws, the nuts, the caps, washers, and the old trusted manual, or how we like to call it on the starter box team, barbecue paper. And here we have the toilet seat. We have the tank top. Let's go ahead and remove the old screws and place the new ones. And what we want to do is turn the flats sideways so it could fit. And then once we have them in, turn them so they can't come out. Now that we're ready, we can go ahead and remove the old wax ring. We can go ahead and go to the new toilet and place the wax ring on the bottom of the toilet, having the plastic pointing down. We like to assemble the toilet in two parts because this is going to make it less heavy to carry around and maneuver in place. If you want to fully assemble the toilet before placing it, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now we're going to go ahead and place the toilet in place, making sure that we align it correctly with the sewer line and the hole from the wax ring and toilet and most importantly make sure that the toilet is aligned straight the last thing you want is to have your toilet looking at the shower and now that you're half master of the universe we can go ahead and tighten the nuts on the screw you might need to hold the screw with one hand meanwhile you turn the nut to tighten first we place the plastic washer then the metal washer and then our butterfly nut a pro tip, pulling the screw up is going to create tension for the nut to tighten even faster and simpler. And then after we tighten both sides, then we can place the plastic cap on top to cover it. 
Remember, you don't want to over tighten because we're dealing with ceramic. And when you over tighten ceramic, it may crack. So hand tight is good enough. Before we finish with the installation, we'd like to drop some water on the bowl to make sure that we have a tight connection and we don't have any leaks. Once we notice there's no leaks, we're ready to proceed. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our rubber tank gasket and we place that on the tank first. Now using the same method as before, we're gonna go ahead and align both holes and make sure that the screws also go through the hole. So now that you're a pro at aligning things, we can go ahead and tighten down the nuts on the screws. First, we place the washer and then the nut. And we do that for both sides. Remember, you don't want to over tighten because we're dealing with ceramic. And when you over tighten ceramic, it may crack. So hand tight is good enough. Now we're ready to place the line to the toilet. And remember, hand tight is good enough. You want to do a test run and open the shutoff valve. If you notice any leaks, you might want to place plumber's tape, both on the shutoff valve and the tank connection. In our case, it wasn't necessary. We let the tank fill up and do a second test run. If there's no leaks, now we can go ahead and proceed to place the toilet seat. And this is really straightforward. You take the screws and align them in the hole again and tighten the plastic nuts from the bottom. You might need a screwdriver to make the job a lot easier. And now we're at the final step. We can go ahead and place the top for the tank. If you notice a gap on your toilet bottom, you can go ahead and place bathroom caulking all around the toilet. Now that the toilet has met its match, you are done. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up, that really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching, and here's a link to our latest video.